Hello everyone. Welcome to another Halloween th stream. We have been doing only Pokemon of certain types this month. So dark, poison, um, ghost, and bug. I almost said grass there. Definitely not grass. All of the grass is very dead where I am. We got snow like two days ago and there's so much snow now. Nothing is living outside anymore. Anyways, today we are going to do a back port of Yan Mega. So Yan Mega in Pokemon Crystal, and I think it is going to be really fun. Just a few notes before we get started. I am going to be talking in a way that preserves my voice as best as is possible. If I sound tired, that's probably why. Number two, there will be timestamps for this stream once the stream concludes. So check out the description if you want to jump to a further portion of it and avoid the opening preamble. This video will not be edited, it is a live stream, that is just to ensure that the live chat is preserved for anyone who wants to come along and watch it later on. The way that I accomplished this backport is I used the Poke Crystal disassembly to add Yan Mega's information to the game, and I also found two sprites online that were made by other people, so the front sprite is made by Bloodless and the back sprite is made by someone named Comboy. Check them out. If you are, uh, yeah, if you're curious, check them out. Also, um, this, I don't, this is not like a part of my regular Crystal series. So today I'm only going to be doing a single playthrough. I will not be using Hidden Power. It will be first playthrough rules. And we're going to see how it goes. And then at the end of all this, we will um, talk a little bit about the results and get ready for tomorrow's stream in that one. We are going to be doing Weavile in Pokemon Crystal. So let's get into this and start talking about Yan Mega. For base stats, Yan Mega has 86 HP, 76 attack, 86 defense, 116 special attack, 56 special defense, and 95 speed. Um, why is this thing obsessed with having its stats end in a digit that is 6? 86, 76, 86, 116, 56. Those kind of numbers, they always, like, they're a little bit weird. When I first looked at Yan Mega's stats, I was like, wow, they just chose a bunch of wacky numbers. Why? Um, but no, they all end in sixes except the speed. And it's kind of got a nine, which is like an upside down six. You know, like six, six and nine, they go together really well. Anyways, um... So Yen Mega, uh, this is, by the way, one of my favorite Generation 4 Pokemon. I did not grow up playing Generation 4, so I don't have a lot of nostalgic memories of those games. I have only actually beat Platinum twice in my entire life, and uh, the first time I beat it with a Gengar using Destiny Bond. I don't know, that's not a very good strategy, didn't feel very legit. And we have Churro. My cat coming to say hi to all of us. Hi. By the way, if you support me through YouTube memberships or through Patreon, there is a sponsorship coming up, and instead of seeing the sponsored segment in the video, you're going to be seeing cat pictures for the entire duration. Um, so <laughs> if that's any uh, if that's any incentive, come and uh, join. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, uh, he's been he's been very loud today. He's probably going to continue being loud. I apologize. He has the move hyper voice. Okay, so um, it has a medium fast growth rate. Yan Mega, that is, not Churro. By the way, I am going to add Churro to Pokemon Yellow and then play the game with him. It's going to be very fun. Okay, so um, anyways, Yan Mega, medium fast growth rate. Not great in the early game, but overall pretty good. Then in terms of move pool for Generation 2, this is what I have given it. It starts with Bug Bite, Tackle, Foresight, and Quick Attack. Then through Level Up, it learns Quick Attack, Double Team, Sonic Boom, Detect, Ancient Power, Wing Attack, Air Slash, and Bug Buzz. Through TMs and HMs, it gets access to like Standard, Fair in the three normal moves, Headbutt, Swift, and Return. And additionally, it uh, it gets two, two special moves here. I'm just going to note that. Giga Drain and Solar Beam. Those are its only two special moves. I realize that once we get to Generation 4, moves like Ancient Power are special, as well as Bug Buzz. But in Generation 2, the type determines the damage category. So all Rock, Flying, Bug, Normal moves, they are all physical. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, 
116 special attack is not very good when you have mostly physical attacks. I really hope that I can find a use for uh, Solar Beam or Giga Drain because, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty frustrating without it. Uh, let's go through quickly how I made this move pool just so that you're aware. We're going to first look at Yanma's learn sets from Generation 2. So this is what Yanma gets. By the way, notably, you can see there's two columns. One's kind of a golden color and the other one's a like blue color. That's uh, gold and, uh, and crystal. Gold, gold, silver, and crystal. Uh, in crystal, they switched out Yan Yanma from learning swift to give it wing attack so that it actually has the same type attack bonus move. That's really nice. That's really kind. Thanks for doing that. It actually really reminds me of Generation 1 in Scyther. Where in Pokemon Yellow, they just gave it wing attack. And in red and blue, it only has normal moves. Thanks, Game Freak. Yeah, how considerate of them. Exactly. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, so, um... Yes, Speedrunner. Why didn't they... Yeah, why didn't they do Mud Slap Gligar? I know. But, like, also, don't worry. Yanma doesn't get Mud Slap, so there's no... There's no uh, sad Gligar today. Gligar and, Yan and Yanma are just, like... They got like, they're like, Yanma's got his little wing around Gligar and Gligar's like hanging on crying and they're like, it's going to be okay. We're, we'll be fine eventually. Maybe in generation four when they give us cool new evolutions. But unfortunately, Yan, Yan Mega is not a dragon type. This should have been the first bug dragon type and its ability should be levitate. Come at me in the comments, please. That's how it should have been. No one can change my mind. Also, um, Alpharius, I think it is, said, uh, what about Thief? Yes, Thief is a special move, so there, there is an option, actually. It's base 40 power, which is a little bit disappointing, but yes, Thief is an option. Um, okay, now, so that basically what I did to make this move pool with uh, Yan Mega is I kind of looked at the moves that Yanma learns in Generation 2 by level up. I took some of those levels, so level 13 and 19, and then I started increasing levels at like Detect, Ancient Power, Wing Attack, Air Slash, and Bug Buzz. I'm actually realizing that there is a mistake on my overlay right now. Let me just refresh. Ah, there, the levels are correct now. 28 Detect, 52 Air Slash, and 57 Bug Buzz. I changed that earlier today um, because it was obviously weird to learn two moves at level 50. Just a mistake by me. Um, anyways, I took the levels ported them over some of the early ones and then kind of like made it so that uh, Yan Mega would learn moves a little bit at like higher levels than Yanma would. And this is actually in general how, um, this is in general how generation two they approached these Pokemon. Um, it's really weird. Like if you look at their move sets, most of them, when they fully, when they're fully evolved, they learn the same moves at the same levels as their prior evolution until a certain threshold, which is usually around level 25. And then the levels start slowly getting uh, higher and higher and higher. So kind of interesting. I, I think it's interesting they did that. It's not like that in Generation 1. Anyways. Um, yes, I did remove Screech because I had to fit in all these other good moves so that we can actually have a fun time. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's look at, uh, we'll look at Yan Mega's Gen 4 move pulls now. Uh, these get kind of overwhelming because there's like a million different categories for each single move. Uh, contest stuff and appeal and all this. I wish I could just remove, not show that. It's really annoying. Um, in in general here, I, it's fairly similar. I think notable things that were changed going into Generation 4 is that through TM and HM, Yan Mega can access Psychic and Shadow Ball. I did consider backporting those today so that it could learn those. Um, but... Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's not gonna happen because I didn't do that with Mistrevis, so that didn't seem fair at all. Also, it gets things like Silverwind, which is a special move, so that's nice. Um, but again, bug moves are all physical in in uh, in Generation Two. Uh, through TM, uh, through Level Up, it actually gets a lot of moves. Like the Generation Four move sets get quite expansive when you start looking at them. Uh, through level up, that kind of thing. Like, Pokemon really start getting access to a lot of good stuff, so you can see what it has access to. Cool. Great. Um, not going to be using Hidden Power today, like I said before. Um, also, 
Um, Bug Bite's power is wrong. Yes, this is something else I tried to fix, and I don't know why it's wrong, but I'm going to have to look that up. Just give me one second. Um, I changed that earlier today in the overlay software, so I don't actually know why that's wrong. Because I literally saw that earlier, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's definitely not right. I'm, I'm going to update that. Then I did update it, <laughs> and for whatever reason, it just reverted back. It's likely it changed it in one place, but not another place. Sorry, give me one second. I have to go into the code and dig through all of this. Yeah, it's changed there. That's probably not changed. Yeah. I'm slowly migrating over to a separate file. There we go. Bug voice power is now 60. Ta-da! I'm just going to check and make sure that it is correctly set to 60 in the ROM. If it's not, I'll have to just quickly uh, fix that. So just give me a second. It would be very unfortunate to play a good portion of this playthrough and then discover all of a sudden, actually, Bug Bite has been very weak the entire time. Good thing we caught that. It is wrong in the ROM. Sweet. Okay, I got the fix now. Okay, one second. I'll load the new ROM, then we're good to go. The berry stealing aspect of bug bite will not work, but it doesn't matter because there are no NPCs with berries anyways. <laughs> it's uh, it's really silly. They introduced held items in these games, and then they were just like, actually, um, none of the NPCs need held items. <laughs> Weird. I don't know why. It's very strange. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, this is Pokemon Crystal with only a Yan Mega. I think it's going to be kind of brutal. So, let's find out. The Pokefan trainer class all hold berries. Really? I've never once seen them use a berry, but okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, at least someone got a berry, I guess. Are right, again, we're going to transfer upgraded leech life and see how better the mons use it would be well that's the problem with like okay i i hear what you're saying cool bond um but the the problem with transferring back leech life into the earlier games is that they didn't really do that like they didn't really upgrade leech life later on uh i actually want to just leave it nicknamed yan mega so people aren't confused because no one reads the nicknames apparently when i did my original yanma video I said, it's a dragon bug. That's what we call it in Canada. And everyone was like, wow, I didn't know that. That's not what we call it in Canada. I was just joking. Um, so I, I cannot mislead you. I have to just put the actual Pokemon's name the <laughs> as its name. So if I say, if I call it a dragon bug in the name, then you're all going to be confused. You're going to believe. You're going to believe me. Don't believe me. Um, anyways, the problem with backporting Leech Life as like a more powerful move is just that they didn't really do that because, like, if you look at a Pokemon like um, uh, Zubat, for example, it gets Absorb rather than getting Leech Life. So they just changed Leech Life to Absorb. Because it's basically lower power, has the same effect, can function the same way on a Pokemon like Zubat. And then for bug types that actually get, get Leech Life, you can have a more powerful stab move. Um, now, I know that isn't true for all Pokemon, like Zubat is one type of example, but I'm sure there are other examples where like a bug type gets Leech Life, and then starting in Generation 7, it just got much better. Which is okay. Um, I, I don't know, I might do that at some point in the future, but I don't have any plans of doing that right now. I'll think about it. Okay, we level up medium fast. We don't level up super fast in the early game, but it gets faster later on. However, I don't think Gian Mega is going to have too many problems very late into the game. I could see Red's, Red's Charizard being a problem as well as Lance's Charizard, but other than those two Pokemon, like, we should be okay. 
Also, Fallen Hero, thank you, and also, Michael, thank you. What do they call military defense in Canada? I don't know. The only defensive skill I've ever learned as a Canadian is just to say sorry. You could do a comparison runs. Yeah, I've thought about doing a whole bunch of um, different comparison runs that aren't just like regular solo challenges. I'll get to those eventually. I'm not in a rush. Like, there's a lot of stuff I want to do on the channel. But, uh... Oh, it's a joke, the US military. That's funny. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to, like, go too fast through things. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do, and I'm not, I'm not trying to get to the next thing, like, as fast as possible. We can hit Morty with bug moves. We don't need struggle. But, like... Bug moves are not going to be good, but we can at least hit him with them. Um, um, other than that, though, we might have problems. <laughs> I don't think we, we can get Thief before Morty. By the way, in my first attempt runs, I do not think about them before I go in. Uh, I intentionally do not allow myself to plan. I literally sit down, look at the moveset for like five minutes, and then I start. That's it. There's no, like, in-depth planning, thinking about it for a week, then doing the playthrough. It's like none of that. I find it much more interesting if I just go into it and find the problems as I go, and then it's like, wow, like, I didn't expect this trainer to be difficult. Like, I didn't even think about Morty beforehand, and then, like, I get to him, and I'm like, actually, this is really tricky. I need to, like, think about how to do this. And then it's like, it requires me to go into that, like, problem-solving on the fly, which I find really fun. Um, and then, obviously, it balances out in my approach overall because... Uh, then for the second playthrough, there's like a lot of planning, that sort of thing. Churros, yeah, Churros, um, he's running around screaming right now. I'm going to do this today just because, like, it's pretty fast. The training here is fast, and I'm going to gain like a couple levels. Foresight might be needed for Morty. What a world. Yeah, that's true, actually. I guess I'll I'll remember to keep I'll remember to keep foresight. Also, someone earlier said it doesn't make sense for Yan Mega to be a dragonfly because oh like a dragon type because like it just because it has dragon in the name of the bug doesn't mean I know but like I want a dragon like a dragon bug type I really want that can we just have that please like that would be cool um. And, like, I feel like of all the Pokemon that we have so far, this one is most deserving of it, if not Flygon. Guarantee Scott doesn't... Yeah, I'm not going to use Flash later on. Are you kidding me? I'm not weak. <laughs> I'm a man. I go through caves when they're dark. And I play Pokemon 12 hours a day. That's what real men do. Puts hair on your chest. Uh, no. Too manly for Flash? Yeah, totally. You know what? Okay, I was thinking about this earlier today. By the way, earlier today, uh, earlier today, <laughs> I did my second playthrough with Cleffa. That, by the way, this stream was supposed to start 50 minutes ago. Guess why I'm late. So earlier today, I did my second playthrough with Cleffa, and I was really thinking to myself, like, why did they give so many Pokemon access to Mudslap when Flash exists? Why not get, give everyone Flash, where there is a downside to teaching it, but a bonus in the overworld? And, like, Flash is not very accurate, so it's kind of trash to just, like, have as a move. But, like, then make Mudslap the more, like, specialized, interesting move. I don't know, it's just weird. Mudslap is just obviously better than Flash. Okay, Faulkner, here we go. Um, quick attack. Make me win. I guess, technically, Bug Bite does a little bit more damage here. Um, that Gust is doing quite a bit, but we're going to be fine. Okay, I'm really glad I did Sprout Tower. I think that would have been a loss if I didn't do Sprout Tower. But we got the TM for Mudslap, which we can't use. <laughs> All real men are Zubats in that case, yes. Oh, no. Ida Himovic? I, I, I butchered that. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for joining Venonat. 
Really appreciate the support. Grab the Paralyzed Cureberry. This thing's usually useful for either Jasmine or Lance. If you use it on Jasmine, you can... I'm going to quick attack this, try and catch it. I'm trying to get much better at my menuing there in battle, that sort of thing. I just... So, in Generation 1, the bug type is super effective against the poison type, and the poison type is super effective against the bug type, which is an interaction that has been subsequently removed. I actually really like it. Also, my rules are in the description of all my videos, so check them out. Only my starter in battle. No items in battle. Um, no evasion boosting moves until level 100. And, uh... That's the last one. No, like, major glitches and exploits. I just don't want to break the game so that I'm, like, not playing the game anymore. That's not fun. Jamie P, thank you so much for the $10. That, like, A? I don't know what A is for, what currency that is, but thank you for that currency. Real man don't know anything about finance. <laughs> okay. Goldeen, the pecking fish. I think, isn't Australia AU, but maybe I'm wrong. Or AUD? It's Australian dollars. Okay, cool, cool, cool. By the way, there is a patch that I have implemented on my channel, which prevents random spinners from catching me. So they are, they have social anxiety now. They can never look at me when I'm beside them. Um, as a result... Uh, these playthroughs are going to become a little bit more consistent and a little bit more comparable. My goal, of course, is to produce consistent results with the Pokemon. If you feel that this is cheating, that's totally a fair way to feel. Um, I hear you. And uh, this is my channel. So I'm still going to do it. Because it does make the results easier to compare. And here we are about science. Not about honor. Okay. Let's fight this slowpoke guy, because I can also get Swift. Swift is, uh... This guy's going to be easy to defeat, too. Free experience, basically. Ah! Swift. You know, every time I teach Swift when I'm down here, I get a little bit sad, because my brain is just like, why couldn't they give you Swift later in the playthrough so you're not encouraged to use it right here, right before you get headbutt? Because then you never have Swift when you need it against Karen. <laughs> I got burnt. You kidding me? Uh huh. You were once an honorable man, Scott. What happened? The science got me. I had to strive for perfection. Oh my, two polka dollars, two polka dollars. I can't afford that escape rope. Are you kidding me? How many Karens do you have to battle though, Scott? A lot. It feels like a lot. It feels like every playthrough that you do in Pokemon Crystal, you have to battle Karen like six times. It's always the worst. Karen is absolutely terrifying. Well, well, Yan Mega is technically. Yes, it is. It's a terrifying bug. We're doing. I said at the beginning of October, I said poison. Bug, Dark, and Ghost types. Those are the Halloween types in my mind. Look at it. Look at its fierce eyes. That thing is definitely out and about for Halloween. And if not, there are Pokemon that dress up as Yanmega for Halloween. Look at these spikes on its back. Holy. Terrifying. Like, Gligar would dress up as Yanmega for Halloween. They'd get a lot more respect, too. Ugh, come, stop poisoning me. This one doesn't matter. Kurt, uh, Kurt heals me right after this fight. Would Volbeat be a scary mon? No. <laughs> yeah, but like I didn't do Volbeat. You see? You see? Also, this is the Pokemon that almost did not make the cut, just so you know. The only reason I'm doing this is because I feel like streaming today. It was originally, the original plan was no stream today, and then stream tomorrow with Weavile, then a yellow stream the next day, 
and then the Halloween content starts releasing. Pincer is terrifying, I know. There is going to be a Pincer video this weekend. Um, okay, there's no good held item, so let's just go. Okay. So this is Bugsy. Let's go. Um, I guess Bug does not resist Bug, so I could have Bug Bite the Metapod. The Metapod is so bad anyways. And then just Swift here is... Ooh. Ha, <laughs> Fury Cutter does like nothing. Okay. We're fine. You always have to... Even if Fury Cutter does like nothing, you do have to be a little bit scared there sometimes. Sonic Boom is kind of trash in Generation 2. In Generation 1, it's much more useful. Remember modifying the ROM is a slippery slope, as you said. Yeah, I know. That's why I g did a huge rant at the end of my last stream talking about, like, the decision-making process that I use when I modify the ROM. Because, like, I I think about it for a really long time before I make a single change. I don't just, like, go in and make a change. Like, I, I really contemplate it. Like, is this a good change? If it's not, okay, well, that's bad. But we'll three-hit it. It will be fine. Okay. So, Quilava... This should be a three hit. Haha, ha, smoke screen. I got swift. Easy. And I remember to use it. You don't have to remind me. Look at that. Look at how good I'm getting at these games. Yeah. Wait, maybe bug resists itself? It doesn't resist itself, no. I feel like that's fair. Like two bugs fighting doesn't really seem like they should resist themselves. Okay. Uh, did I catch? Yeah, I did. Watch this. Real men don't need cut. Or real men don't need flash. Real men do need cut, actually. Hashtag manscaped, I guess. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not a sponsored video at all. <laughs> I'm just repping them because I absolutely love their boxers. <laughs> Please sponsor me again, manscaped. It was good working with you. <laughs> um, seriously, the boxers. Seriously, like... These boxers, these boxers are the best boxers ever. Um, yeah, like, I know there's the word man in Manscaped, but if you do not consider yourself to be a man, still buy the boxers. It's worth it. We're going to dodge Todd. <laughs> the rappel always wears out, like, right at the perfect time there, too. I don't need this. Okay. Um, I, so I'm feeling like bug moves are not that good offensively. This is also a reason that I've done these back ports is like it's fun to test out moves like a good bug move in the early game. Like bug bite is objectively not an amazing move, but it is a lot better than a lot of the trash that they give you in generation two. Um, they what introduced Megahorn and Fury Cutter as the only two new moves. Thanks. <laughs> like those aren't particularly good moves. Like Fury, like Megahorn is great if you get to it, but like no Pokemon learn it and it doesn't have perfect accuracy. And then Fury Cutter is like fine, but like there's a lot better stuff out there. Fury Cutter is like bad rollout. Ah! Oh gosh. Is frustration ever a good move? Well, look on the side right now. You can see what its effective power is if I used it right now. Um, I can't look there because I got to like navigate this world on four times speed while talking and thinking. Uh, it's very challenging, but you can see what its power is if you go and look over at it. I'm going to heal now because I took a lot of damage. I don't want to open my inventory. Um, frustration. Okay, I'm looking for it. And I'm bumping into walls. Oh, piling with looking at the side. Frustration. 44 base power. So no, it's never good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can see that it is never good because by the time you get swift and headbutt uh, basically frustration is already awful like frustration could be good if you're doing a regular playthrough something like that like I'm not going to trash the move overall but for like basically anything I say on the channel is specifically in regards to the solo challenge lens um, in the solo challenge genre frustration is always bad 
There's like return is just better than it in almost every scenario. The Tangler gives good experience here, so I like to fight it when I have super effective damage. And like that's hard. Like good experience is hard to come by in uh, in Johto. As you find out when you play all the baby Pokemon in one month. Go back. I don't think I need to heal. I've got ethers from the forest. If I absolutely need them. <laughs> Just watching the game at four times speed is giving me headaches. I know it's fast, right? Okay, here we go. It's time for a Whitney. This could be absolutely brutal because of rollout, but we have headbutt and we do outspeed. So the question is, <laughs> bone meringue on the metronome. That's pretty bad. The question is, how much damage does Rollo do? That does a lot. Okay, that does a, that a, a lot. Please flinch. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Come on. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Those were the two perfect, perfectly timed flinches. I can't believe that. Probably should have trained to like level 25. But. <laughs> Let's go. No, no, no. Shouldn't they be equally powerful? Yeah, but when your friendship, you 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 have to start with friendship at zero for uh, frustration to be equally powerful to return. But no poke when you catch Pokemon, they do not have zero friendship. So that's the problem. I've learned there that I often forget the heal, so I checked just to confirm, and then I'm gonna save because this thing does know a rock move. This is a first playthrough, so I'm gonna make myself knock it out. Um, very weird. Rock does not resist bug. I feel like rock... Oh gosh, that did so much damage. It's good it didn't go for uh, rock throw twice in a row. Uh, yeah, I was focused on consistency overall. I was like... I was focused on... But I was like focused... I think my focus was not always on consistency... It was like, I was focused on consistency with the idea of like, I want to go fast and consistently. And then over time, it it's basically evolved to be, I want to go fast and I want to do it as consistently as is reasonably possible. And sometimes that does mean cutting corners in terms of consistency to get a little bit more boost of speed. But overall, just, it's like I was playing way too safe before. It's like, um, it's like, uh, the analogy is like you're playing StarCraft and you build like, you build like 15 turrets all around your base when you only need two in like specific spots. It's like, don't build 15 turrets, just build them where you need them. And then if like you actually drop the ball and make a huge mistake or something, you'll lose like for some weird reason, but you can just, you can just get around it. I think it did. Rockthrow just just missed. Yeah, that <laughs> that might be the case. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go over here next, past Birdkeeper Toby. I've heard that he's stopping YouTube. He's been doing it for a while. I wish him all the best. He definitely got me into this. So. The example of Star. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Yes. Like you're playing fastest map and the goal is like get a forge as fast as possible and then put cannons all around your base. Then just get stargates. How you do it. Unfortunately the an the analogy in this does not really exist because mm, I can't buy very many because I haven't fought very many people. That should be enough. Isn't Yan Mega pretty good competitively wise? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about competitive Pokemon. Like anything at all. My wife has a friend who plays competitive Pokemon. He like travels and stuff, goes to all the regionals and things like that. Um, but the, like talking to him is the extent of my knowledge and watching Big Yellow. Like, <laughs> that's it. I know nothing else. I'm sorry. Completely useless. 
as you can see, uh, when I started this channel, um, I didn't know anything about Pokemon in general, except the fact that I really liked playing the games, and I had played the games a lot. Yeah. Oh, you might be curious. Uh, Bug Bite, its effective power is displaying as 101 in the top left. You might be like, why is that the case? It used to be 90. Once you defeat Bugsy, uh, his badge gives all Bug-type damaging moves a 12.5% boost to their damage. So, that is why... That's reflected. Ugh, this guy is so annoying. <laughs> just so annoying. Could you stop, please? Now you're an expert at... Well, I don't know if an expert. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm... I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting better. I hesitate to say expert, though. Maybe in like two years. I think I need a little bit more time. This also just might be like some Dunning-Kruger effect stuff where I'm like, actually I'm terrible at this and I'm like decently good, but I don't know. I would rather be on that side of it than on the side where I'm like, yeah, of course, I'm an expert. I'm great at this game. <laughs> it's like, nope, you're actually not. How is it pulling the info in real time? It's a good question, Hogan. Um, I worked with a developer, Flamesage. He's been working on a program called Gamehook that basically accesses the RAM in real time. And then I wrote the JavaScript and HTML that visualizes all this stuff while I play. Uh, I think we got to foresight this. I think that'll be faster than and just knock it out with headbutt. Oh. By the way, this does do the most damage. I'm literally looking at the damage range right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Quick attack. Okay. Um, First first reset there to the rival. Uh, It did not feel good. We're going to do something else first and not waste time just attempting him again. We're going to go over here. By the way, I found a new... Someone messaged me and they were like... Hey, there's a held item over here, like go check it out. And I was like, that's a good idea. So then I did. And then I looked at all the held item positions. So I found a couple more that I can pick up during playthroughs. I'm only going to remember one today. By the way, this guy has the two fully evolved Nidos. Great experience for a Johto playthrough. So if you're coming through here and you have something that's super effective against them, or you feel like confident against them, I think it's a good idea to fight him out right here. Another hyper potion. And then you can just skip these people. These people are bad. That guy's fine for experience. He's got like a tongue. I'm gonna skip him today. I'm gonna fight the Nido King and uh, Slowbro guy. So what are we doing? About Steelix? Don't, uh, uh, this is actually gonna be a brutal playthrough now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, do I get detect? Like, is this useful in any way? I don't think this is useful in any way. Pretty sure this doesn't block curse. Someone look it up. I'll just get it for now. Swift is not gonna be that important. Um, someone please look up if Detect blocks Curse. I don't think it does. My memory for these kind of things is not great. Have you ever done a playthrough in Crystal with Yanma yet? Yeah, there's a video on my channel. Note, in that video there is a major editing mistake where somehow I messed up my timer... I don't know what happened. I'm like, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I, I think I know what happened. Uh, I used to record my videos, like each individual playthrough, I would record over like three or four days because I was working full time. Um, so I would never have like two hours, three hours to just, and my playthroughs took a lot longer back then. I would never have like three or four hours just to sit down and do one playthrough. So I'd have to record them over multiple days. And what that meant is I had to write down the time that was on the timer and then reset the timer to that time at the beginning of the next day after closing all the software down and that kind of thing. Um, I can't use hidden power, so that's useless. Uh, as a result, I think I just input the timer from the wrong screenshot. <laughs> and so like my timer goes back by like 40 minutes or something or an hour or something. It's pretty bad. I've made a lot of mistakes on this channel, but that's one that like sticks out to me as, as pretty bad. And that's fine. 
If you're gonna make content, just make stuff. You're gonna make mistakes. It's okay. If you try to not make mistakes, you'll never make anything. Plus, the pain of making the mistake is all that more real if it's out there for the public to see. Then you really learn from it. When you put a video out with you playing Pokemon Emerald with Hariyama, and then everyone's like, wow, even for you, this is like some pretty bad play. You're like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> Whatever I did there, don't do that again. All right, we're going to fight some more people. We'll just like, I want to get to level 30 over damage running threshold, and then, uh, and then hopefully we will be able to beat the rival. Oh, ah, are you kidding me? I'll just fight a wild Pokemon. Not this one. I don't want to fight this wild Pokemon. No, stop. That is the worst fight I've ever had. Confused, hit myself, wasted time, then it ran from the battle. Can't believe that. <laughs> so serious. So so silly. Have you backported Togepi to yellow yet? I've backported every single Generation 2 Pokemon to Pokemon Yellow. They're all done except the... Uh, I think the back, there are some back sprites that I still have to do, but like almost everyone's done. I did it when I was on my uh, honeymoon. Well. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go. I didn't, I didn't see anyone say if this blocks it. So we're just going to try it and see what happens. See, it doesn't block it. <laughs> That's what happens. You just get cursed anyway. It's so frustrating. Well, I flinched it. That's nice. Save some health. Oh. Swift would be nice right now. But maybe. Yeah. Wow. Poor wife. No, no, no. Unfortunately, because we we didn't plan our year very well, um, we took off five weeks this year. We're both self-employed. So <laughs> when you take time off, you just don't make money. Um... So what ended up happening is after the wedding and all the time we had taken off, we realized very late that, like, we had taken too much time off. So then during, like, what was officially the honeymoon, we, we had to do some additional work. So I worked on it whenever she was working on her stuff. Oh, gosh. Okay, so bug bite doesn't work. I guess we... Foresight. Uh, well, it's a great thing that Foresight has just incredible PP because... If it didn't, th those spites would get real frustrating real quick. Oh, I realize now that my overlay does not adjust the power to be a non-zero number when you use foresight. Um, that is an oversight, but um, e I think that you can forgive me for not having the foresight to understand that this interaction would be one day important. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad I got a, I got a ha in the comments. I'm glad. Uh, well, this is I, I think we're I think Morty is not going to be possible. Like I, I don't think this is going to be possible. I'm, I'm not going to one shot the ghastly with bug bite. Like there's no way, right? This no, it's going to be two hit. So when do I learn my next move? Thirty five. That's actually not that far away. Okay. Fine. Uh, the annoying thing is that I do not have Surf right now. So I have to only go places where uh, where I, I don't need Surf. By the way, over here, Ether. Surprise. I never pick it up because it's out of the way, but I'll grab it today by this guy. I'll have Detect versus Protect. Wait, aren't Detect and Protect the exact same move? Have I missed something all this time? Do you have Strength? Yeah, but like, Strength doesn't help me. How does Strength help me? I don't think Strength helps me. Yeah, Detect has less PP. I do know that, but like, 
in terms of like function, don't they do the exact same thing? They were just like, actually the normal move needs to be better. So we're gonna give it five more PV. And the fighting move, fighting type is the trash type. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna ensure that the fighting type move is worse in just some way. Air cutter is not a generation two move. So the thing is with the ROM there, uh, this is going to be a programming thing. Uh, basically, if you don't know any programming stuff, I'm going to explain a tiny bit of basics for you right now so you can just understand. Um, in programming, there are things called bytes, which is what we say like megabytes, kilobytes, that sort of thing. A byte is just a hexadecimal number. So it's two digits and each one of the digits ranges from a number from zero to 16, essentially with F representing 16. So it goes like zero to nine and then a b c d and so on it's like fairly straightforward um one byte can store a value anywhere from zero to 255 so what in yeah bug bites ah that's good ben good job um why does headbutt hit ghosts because i'm using foresight um Anyways, uh, the byte can store value from 0 to 255. And in the game, the moves, like the moves that your Pokemon has, are referenced. So like in the Pokemon's data, it is stored as a single byte of information. So one byte is the move that the Pokemon has. And then another byte is the amount of PP that that move currently has. Okay, fairly simple. Um, so yeah, a byte is eight bits of data. That is correct. And so because the move is... It's called the move index, which basically tells the program like, yes, this move is here. It is this thing. The move index, because the move index is a 8-bit number or a single byte number, its value can only range from 0 to 255. And there are 251 moves in Pokemon Crystal. So that means whenever you go to modify the ROM, without just by adding moves into the game, you can only technically add four, and then you run out of space. By the way, I picked up one rare candy, so I'm gonna use, or two, I'm gonna use one right now to get ancient power as fast as possible so that I don't have to waste more time against Morty. Uh, Foresight's basically useless now, so ancient power in its place. And then teleport back to Equity City. Um, so, and the, the fifth move, the, sorry, the fourth move, the fourth move slot, number 255, it, it has a bug with it because, heh <laughs> It has a bug with it because um, other data is stored in a similar location. So then what ends up happening is uh, you can't actually use it. <laughs> it just it just glitches out. No. So anyways, I can only add three moves to the game. So every time... One second. You, everyone's seeing what's happening? Overly didn't add an agent power. Exactly, that's what's happening. So... We're gonna, that's a move name problem. Someone suggested that I need to write a little piece of code that translates these sort of things, and yes, I do, but I do not have time to do that right now. It's likely just a problem with the mapper. Ancient power is two words in the mapper, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, sometimes. That's probably fixed in a newer version of this, but then I got the, I, when I backported this, it was not the newest version. Okay. It should be fixed now. No, it's not. I literally have to remove the space. Yeah, um, also, sometimes... I feel like sometimes it's going to feel like progress is very slow on things. Like, what is he doing? He should just, like, fix this, write one piece of code. It's going to be way easier. Like, yeah, but, like, there's, like, a million things going on behind the scenes. Right now, just yesterday, we are... Finally, almost at feature parity with uh, Generation generation 4. So now we crashed everything. But there we go. It, it lives again. <laughs> All right. Why not replace moves that don't appear in normal playthroughs like Sacred Fire and Aeroblast? Then Metronome cannot use those moves. So you have to choose a move to replace that is not a move that Metronome can choose, which is like um, Sketch, for example. 
I did think about that as an initial uh, strategy and approach at this, but Metronome kind of interacts with all these things a little bit weird. And like, if there was no primary Pokemon that had Metronome, I'd be like, that's fine. But Whitney has Metronome and it's it's always fun when she like sacred fires your grass bug type or whatever. And you're like, ah, like how did that happen? Um, okay, let's do this. I have H power, it'd be good. What happens if you encounter Smeargle? It'll just have the other move. You have to remove all uh, references to Sketch on the ROM, so you'd have to remove it from Smeargle and give it something else. Okay. By the way, Morty has a 45% chance to hit Hypnosis, so it's quite unlikely. You can just Bug Bite to finish that Haunter off, and easy fight. Huh. No resets to Morty. So Morty wasn't actually hard, we just had to think ahead a little bit and do the training, which has really slowed us down, but... No resets. Looks clean. Okay. I'll fight this guy. Sure. Tech is such trash. I don't want it there. <gasps> also, I kind of want this there. Like that. It's probably better. Wish I had a special move to hit this thing with. Wouldn't that be nice? Helix is going to be painful. Shh. We're not thinking about that yet. We're not thinking about that. Uh, the real solution, uh, like we can talk about adding moves and stuff all day and like what the best way is to re replace other moves and stuff like that. The real solution is, is modify the code so that everything is 16-bit indexes, which is... We're going to work on that, so don't worry. This will be overcome, it just won't be overcome immediately. There's already a patch that essentially does it. Um, oh yeah, Sharp Beak, Peyton, you're right, I'll go back and get it. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, so Wing Attack is at 43. Luckily, Wing Attack is not actually a trash move in this game, uh, like it is in Generation 1. Wing Attack is so bad in Generation 1. 35 base power. In this game, it is 60 base power. I'll fight her so I don't have to dodge her coming back down. Gen 2 is so cozy. Yeah, Gen 2 is actually one of my favorite games to stream because it's really relaxed. Whereas like Gen 1 is really stressful. Because the playthrough ends so quickly and like you make like one small mistake and then like everything just spirals. It feels so bad. But in Gen 2 it's like, if you make a mistake it's like, well the playthrough is going to be an hour and 45 minutes anyways. So <laughs> just like that one little mistake doesn't actually matter that much in the overall percentage that is the entire run's length. Yeah, Roar of Time Metronome, that'd be awesome. Can it actually do that? I don't think it can do that. Don't use bug moves or fighting moves here, apparently, so this should be pretty easy just because I resist the attacks. I think I have I double resistance to these. I'm going to get some water. Give me a second. Oh, gosh, I can't get the cap off fast enough. Oh, this guy. Oh, gosh. This is knob. The Machoke knows Rock Slide. Um, Ancient power for Omni Boost. Oh, gosh. No, this is not working. This is not working. <laughs> no. Okay. Flinch. Okay, karate chop. We're good. Terrifying. Best option for Steelix is probably Thief, because he can't use hidden power. Yeah. That might be the case. Uh, an alternative could be, again, Flash. The Steelix does no rocks, uh, rock throw, which is annoying. Normally it doesn't use that move because Iron, like on almost all Pokemon, Iron Tail just does more damage. All well, the Sharp Beak is great against Chuck. <laughs> oh, that's frustrating. I guess we're mint burying it so that he doesn't hypnosis us. Mind Reader, by the way, does not guarantee that hypnosis hits in Generation Two. It only raises its accuracy to seventy-five percent, up from forty-five percent. So, granted, it is a major improvement, but it's it's not that good. Surf, okay. Mind Reader, no hypnosis. Easy win. 
As a musician, what's some video game music that you love, Scott? Good question, RC. Um, well, I really like the Pokemon franchise's music. Um, I think Junichi Masuda is a really good composer. You put together some stuff that's simple, it does its job, and it's also interesting. There's like a lot going on. There's some really neat moments, like the uh, champion's theme is like the, uh, what is it? Retrograde of the, the rival's theme in Pokemon Yellow. Stuff like that's really cool when you notice it. Because, like, the rival theme goes like da 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 And then the champion's theme goes da 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 I sung the minor third wrong. Sorry. I apologize. But, yeah. It's neat. Minor third up. Minor second. Minor second. Uh, when it's the... Uh, when it's the rival. And then he reverses that. Minor second down. Minor second down. Minor third down. When it's the champion. Yeah, those people give you the soft sand over on the little, like, beach area. Nope. Don't fly there. Go here. Oh my god, a shiny. <laughs> yeah. Surprise! No. Random question. I've been watching these. I have one of those phantom memories. West surfing. Take care of those three trainers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, wa not Waterstone. I wish. It would be nice if you could get all the stones more easily in these games. I'm out of PP. Big Foresight PP is not with me anymore. No. <laughs> this guy has Magnemites. Fine. Uh. Stop. I guess I could Omni boost me and that would help. Um. Ah, oh gosh. I'm having small freezes, by the way, in Retroarch. I have to fix it, but finding time to fix it is, is quite challenging right now. Because it, it's probably going to take several hours. These things always take longer than I want them to. You know, Bug Bite is just better here. But it still doesn't one hit, so it doesn't matter. It was better to roll for the the Ancient Power Omni boost on that. It's okay though, Lance heals me right after this, so. Just as long as I don't have to reset there, then it's really not that bad. Just annoying that it has to take time. Love this line in Gen 4. Yeah, um, this line in Gen 4, actually, when I got to Aaron in my very first Platinum playthrough ever, I'm gonna tell this story in Platinum videos in the future, but, um, so you will be spoiled, but, if you don't want to hear it, just like come back when I'm fighting the rocket executive or whatever. Anyways, when I got to him in my very first playthrough of Platinum, I just remember my whole team would get bodied by his Yan Mega because it had that speed boost ability. So I would essentially like like go into it and I wouldn't know what to do because I'm just like, I don't know what type this thing is. It's, it's confusing. It looks like a bug. Is it a bug? I don't know. And I didn't know my type matchups back then anyways because this was like 2014. And then it would just get like so many speed boosts set up and it would move first and just one shot everything I had because I was really under leveled also because grinding in platinum takes forever and like I have ADHD and I had no medication at that time and I also didn't know I had ADHD. <laughs> so it was just like, nope, there's no way I'm training. Like this is just too frustrating. So like, I just remember like, like going into that fight over and over and over and over again and just consistently losing to this Yan Mega. Oh, absolutely frustrating. Didn't I get the password? I'm, I got the passwords. We're good. We're good. I've been working on that. I've been working on that. I did five Generation 2 playthroughs in one day. On like Monday, I think it was. Five. Um, that's like seven hours of playing. Um, and in those playthroughs, I was like really intentional to try and work on always getting the passwords here. The rival shows up there to jump scare you when you don't know these games well. Because you're like, oh no, like I'm totally not prepared. Yeah, Omni Boost. Let's go. Okay. Um, did you get Thief? No, of course I didn't get Thief. I'm going to go back and get Thief. Thank you.
Thief. Okay, like, I don't actually know if I want it against the Steelix. I think that Bug Bite might be more powerful against the Steelix. I know that's saying a lot, but like, Thief has base 40 power, and and the, oh gosh, nice. Um, Thief has base 40 power, and the Dark type resists the, uh, sorry, the Steel type resists the Dark type in, type in these games. I didn't want to have to use the Full Restore, fine. But it's a physical move, and Steelix has a lot of defense. Yeah, I know, but like... I think you underestimate how weak Thief is. We'll, we'll find out. Let's go. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I think I think what I'm trying to say is that like the difference is, is not going to be as noticeable as you might think it would be in a modern game. Because in a modern game, Steel does not resist Dark. So then the like Thief would be significantly better. But in this case, it's like it's probably going to be better, but it's not going to be like that much better. Plus, I can just go in here and I can just escape Robo, so I don't actually waste much time forgetting that. Yeah, ground and ground does resist bug. Oh no, it is the other way around, isn't it? The other way around. I would get those ones confused. This is why Venomoth is like a dark ghost type. Yeah, my difference in attack and special attack is not that different right now because I'm about to beat Price and then he's going to give me a badge boost and then my special attack is going to be sky high. Like, this is the moment where the two stats are closest together because my attack has a boost and my special attack doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm a flying type. <laughs> We're going to heal. Uh, I... If I lose on stream to price again, uh, I'm going to be sad. Wait, have I lost on stream? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. It all just goes away for like a week. Um, oh, This would be nice if I could just like have a good item. Anyways, let's go. I can go get the pink bow if I really want it. We should be fine here. Seal's pretty trash. Oh, one hit with bug bite. Nice. And I'm uh, going to... Two hit the dugong, no attack drop there. That's perfect. Um, okay, ground does not resist bug. We just... No! No! I hate you. Defrost, please. Nope. Price. Why you gotta do that? The freeze. You hate to see it. I know, you're right, Apple Fumble. Gosh. You're gonna lower my attack now? Okay, it didn't. Good. Only 10% chance in, in uh, Gen 2. Okay, it didn't freeze me again, so we're, we're okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get the Giga Drain TM? I can't get that till I defeat Erica. You could Ancient Power the Dugong. Yeah. Bug Bite is slightly more damage, but yes, I should have Ancient Power the Dugong, you're correct. Wait, no, 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 Ancient Power is more, it's 60, not 50. Oh, I forgot. I didn't fight him. See? I always, I always want to fight him, then it's easier. I don't think Ancient Power would one-hit the Dugong, though. I wasn't close enough with Bug Bite. Okay, um... Yeah, Solar Beam is on the wrong side of the waterfall. Yeah, all of the special moves are post-Claire. I can't get any special moves until I beat Claire. Also Claire. <laughs> oh no. Did you see my instinct kick in there? And I was like, God, there's a spinner! <laughs> that it was like, oh no, it's fine. Why not hold the Burnt Berry to counter Freeze? Um, I literally never pick... Uh, it's also called an Ice Berry in this generation, but... Um, is the Ice Berry the one that counters burn? or I don't actually know. Anyways, I never pick those berries up. Literally never, because they just waste time. Like, in this case, they wouldn't have wasted time, but... Um, overall, they just waste time, because that almost never happens. The Pilos one usually goes for Mist and then Fury Attack. It's absolutely hilarious. Okay, here we go. Jasmine, let's see what I can do. 
though. Bug Bite is the best move right now. I'll teach Thief after this fight. Okay, so I can two hit uh, the uh, I can two hit the Magnemites with Bug Bite. That's pretty good. Oh, crit. Oh, miss on the Thunder Wave due to the AI's 25% chance to miss. That's nice. So how much is this going to do to the Steelix? Like nothing. Okay, Rock Throw does a lot. Um... <laughs> I guess I could just like flinch this thing forever. Let's try Thief. Ice Cure Cures Burn. Okay, cool. Cures, cures Burn. Goodbye, Detect. Um, so because I'm two hitting here, I think Bug Bite is definitely better against the Magnemites to ensure that. I think Thief will three hit. Sorry, I got paralyzed this time. Oh, that Thunderbolt hits real hard. Let's see how much Thief does to Steelix. <laughs> ah! Alright, we're in a very bad situation right now. I do know that Thief is Angela. I talked about that at length for like five minutes ago. Yeah, um... I think we fight people... I think we fight people at sea. You know, it speeds me about one, but only when my speed is cut from paralysis. If I get a couple more levels, it'll be okay. Let's go, like, we'll go to, like, 45. I think 45 is... Yeah. Yeah, Lotus, this is my first playthrough, so Hidden Power is banned. And Hidden Power Fire is one of the worst Hidden Powers, by the way. You have 14 in your attack DV and 12 in your defense DV, so your HP DV... Your, so your HP DV is 3. Yeah, Hidden Power Ice would preserve the DVs and still give decent special damage against the Steelix. I think that's the answer. Um, like for a subsequent playthrough, I did do Hidden Power Ice with Yanma, and I, I would I would stand by that. I would do that again. And the Yanma was absolutely brutal here, by the way. Beating Jasmine. Um, now the memory of that is coming back. Yeah, this was not fun. Yeah, ground is also not that great either. Um, it is physical, so obviously not the choice for uh, Yan Mega, but ground is not great. Um, I guess we teach wing attack in the place of detect. I fought her already. No. Yeah, it's hard to turn down Hidden Power Ice when it destroys Claire, and it destroys Lance, and it destroys Will. And it destroys um, Bruno's Onyx, which is not really like a, a feat, but like it is helpful sometimes. It also de destroys Claren's, Karen's Vile Plume. Then it just destroys all of Erica's team. It destroys Brock's team. It's like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> this thing is so good. Like, it, it really is so good. Don't you general do... Yeah, Hidden Power Ground is like the best physical one in my opinion. And then uh, Hidden Power Ice is the best special one in my opinion. Ground is good because it covers um, Jasmine's team. And then the rival's Magneton. And it also covers... Um, uh, yeah. Any other electric types you come across in the playthrough. And some fire types like the Houndoom and Gengar and stuff like that. Uh, Morty's team as well. Um, yeah, ground is, like, pretty good. Ground, ground is the best physical one. Ice is the best special one. I will, like, until someone brings, like, new information that I don't have to my knowledge, like, all the other ones are bad. Like, water's bad, fire's bad, grass is bad. I've looked at all the DVs. Those ones are not very good. Um, bug is, like, it's fine, but it's really not that useful in terms of, like, offensive power because it really only helps against Karen and not even all of Karen's Pokemon. Like, basically just the Umbreon. Um... Because the Murkrow is part flying type and the Houndoom is part fire type. So Bug is kind of just a trash option because it doesn't give you a lot of like stuff throughout the playthrough. You, whenever you want whenever you want a hidden power move, you have to think like, this move needs to solve the maximum number of problems for me in the playthrough as is possible. So if it only solves like one problem, it's not a good hidden power typing. Unless the Pokemon literally only has one problem. You want to try and solve like as many problems as is possible with the one typing of hidden power. And just like in Johto, Ice just does that. Uh, starting to run out of trainers now. 
I want half a level. I really do want half a level. Uh, Hidden Power Rock, actually. Hidden Power Rock, there are some niche cases, cases for that. So, like, um, Meganium and Venusaur, very helpful for them uh, when you need a solution for Charizards. Because there's two Charizards, Lances and, and Reds, and both of them are very good. Water type moves are just like not very good in my opinion in, in Johto or in Kanto. Like as an offensive move, they're like they're fine, but they're they don't really like I haven't found a situation where I'm just like, oh I wish I had a water move. Like usually it's just like, well I have return, so return is is gonna like cover me for now. I don't think I fought Bird Keeper Toby, we'll fight him level up. You know the run is going badly when in uh, in Johto you're running out of trainers. Anyways, those are my thoughts on Hidden Power. There's like... I think in general, it's just... It, it really, Hidden Power gets more interesting as a move starting in Generation 3. I have no healing items. I'm actually going to buy some so we don't have this situation again. Yeah, Hidden Power gets more interesting in Generation 3 where the game is just overall a little bit harder and the opponent's teams are a little bit better balanced. Um, then even if you do solve a lot of problems with it, there are still other problems that can cause the run to be tricky. I did not... Uh, yeah, I can fight them, but I, I don't want to right now. They're kind of out of the way. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Really good. So now I can Ancient Power first turn against the Magnemites, and then Bug, bug, uh, bug Bite after to knock them out. This is going to do like almost nothing. Yep. Okay, well this is bad because I didn't get any Omni Boost, so I wanted Omni Boost. Okay, try a Thief now. You can always replace Headbutt because there's extra TMs, so I'll teach it in that place. Also, typically Jasmine is where Headbutt is just garbage anyways because you're about to get Return. And I do know you can get Return before this, but like why would you get Return before this? You're just backtracking and wasting time for no reason. Headbutt's good enough until this point in the game. Okay, thief. Ha! <laughs> Is that more than bug bite? I, yeah, it's more than bug bite, but it's not very much. She's gonna hyper potion, by the way. Right here. Yeah, she would have hyper potion. So we're like quite far off, actually. Um. Well, we're going to fight the sisters now. So here is where we've now got into the place where um, optimization will dramatically improve this run. Because coming into this, if I knew that Jasmine was going to be this difficult with requiring this amount of training, then I just fight everyone up until this point in the game. All you need is a citrus berry and you'll win. Uh, maybe. That's an interesting thought. Let's get level 46 and then grab the gold berry. It is not a citrus berry, by the way, in these games. It's called a gold berry. We'll get it now. Gotta buy another Abra. Ah, ah, get on my way. So you buy the Abra here in the game corner. And you're going to head over to the department store. Go up to the place where you get rest. I can grab a rest TM right now. Nice. Go here. Get rest. Ta-da. Then talk to this guy. Trade him an Abra. He'll send you a Machop. And this Machop will be holding a gold berry. And the gold berry uh, gives you uh, 30 hit points back, like a citrus berry. I can also get some vitamins now, because I don't learn any tutor moves, so I don't need to save my money for anything, so... We can do that as well, just to improve Yan Mega's chances a little bit. Dynamic Punch, the worst TM ever. Cannot learn Icy Wind, so it's bad. Cannot learn Shadow Ball. Attract, by the way, Attract is just one of the worst TMs in this game. 
You like you basically have to be a male Pokemon if you want any chance of winning. Okay. So what do we get now? Well, probably gonna get protein. Calcium too. Well, it doesn't help me offensively. It does help me defensively. And I might end up using uh, Giga Drain and stuff. So I think it's better than going like Iron or something. The Rock, it's going to do so little to minimize the damage from Rock rock Throw. I can see Dynamic Punch being used competitively just for Snorlax coverage. Like, Snorlax is terrifying in this, these games. Um, okay. By the way, this is the weirdest moveset. Wing Attack, Thief, Bug Bite, Ancient Power. <laughs> like, what is this? It's so weird. Okay, let's, let's try again. Um, okay. Ancient power into bug bite. Hopefully we'll get an omni boost. Please. Please omni boost me. Please. Please. Hey, it missed. Well, no omni boost, but I made it to the Steelix with full health. I didn't gold berry, I realize. I, I uh use the Oh, crit! Screech miss. Oh now I wish I had the gold berry, but then I would be paralyzed. Double crit. Not gonna be enough, is it? <laughs> no. Um, okay, so Goldberry, and we'll just see how that goes. Um, and then it's not going to go well. And then we're gonna we're gonna try again <laughs> to go and train, and then try again at like fifty or fifty three. Hour over an hour, and we haven't beat Jasmine. This is this is not going well. Okay, no peril. Okay, bomb paralyzed. Now I got to deal with it. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you get paralyzed. You, then you just get Thunderbolt to the next turn, lose so much health. Like, there's no chance. Like, yeah, got a gold berry, but, like, I'm dead. Mm, yeah. It's, it's not going to work. Unless it misses every single rock throw. Well, it missed two. Okay, not enough. You need rest, Scott. I cannot get rest until I defeat Jasmine. <laughs> I wish. Okay, so I'd like King's Rock and use all my rare candies now. Uh, yeah, I have three. I'm going to train a bit, then I'll use them. There's some trainers down here that you normally don't fight because you like never go. Why would you go over here when you're speed running? But I can go over there now. Flash. We tried Flash Swagger strategies the other day, and they went so badly against Jasmine that I, I don't... I could do it. Maybe that it's the play. Smeargle over here. Okay, um, now we have ourselves, I've worked myself into a bad position because, when do I get bug buzz? 57. But I, am I going to be 57 before Will? It's like, what do I unlearn? That's the problem. I guess I get air slash fairly soon. But maybe get rid of wing attack in this case. Get flash. I, I think so. I think I get rid of wing attack to get flash. And then I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I will get uh, air slash. After that. And then I keep thief. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is going to be it. Probably Scareberry. Let's go, let's go. No, I'll have to get rid of the Machop so they can get the Dratini. Yes, yes, Omni Boost. Okay, there we go. 
There we go. If I could get a second one, that would be amazing. Come on. No second Omni Boost. Okay. By the way, you cannot get the Omni Boost when you knock the opposing Pokemon out in Generation 2. Okay, I'm not taking very much damage now, but it's still hitting me. Stop hitting me. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Just don't want to give it time. Gosh! Fight that I get the Omni Boost. <laughs> Fine. Like, sometimes setting up with, like, accuracy lowering moves too much is the mistake. Oh, I forgot. Well, I just try, but I forgot to teach, uh, Flash. No. Wow, that did... Okay. <laughs> that did a surprising amount of damage. Not bad. Uh, this is a loss. I'm gonna save over Flash. I'm terrified of saving over Flash and when it's earlier on, but right now it's not that bad, so it should be fine. Okay. Come on. Oh, I still have the gold berry now. I don't want the gold berry. Okay, this is over. Why is Flash? I know. Flash should be 100% accurate, and Mud Slap should be 70% accurate. Let's be real. What is Steelix health? We'll, we'll see it over here. 103. Why are you confusing me? Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Confused me and then paralyzed me. Please miss. Please. Oh, not like that. I meant Magnemite miss. So there's no way I can one-hit the Magnemites. Other than getting a crit. I don't think that that's good to bank on. I think that this is the best strategy. Ancient power, hope for the Omni Boost on turn one. Then hope for no paralysis. Make it to the Steelix. Then you feel silly for having the Paralyzed Cure Berry if you haven't used it, but in this case, do what we gotta do. Okay, four flashes in a row. Five flashes in a row. It did screech me though, so <laughs> when it hits, I will just die. Um... Hopefully it will not hit me. Come on. No. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm training more. We can keep doing this, but it's going to feel really bad if I... If it's like 20 more resets, it'll feel so bad. Let's just go to like 48, get a little bit more damage. No, I fought him already. I don't think I fought this person. No, maybe I have. You haven't used the Paralyzed Cure Berry. Might be useful for another Ancient Power. Yeah, you're right. That's true if, um, if I'm on the second Magnemite. If I'm on the first Magnemite, that's not... It's better to just knock it out. Wow, this is so bad. I didn't expect this. I was like, yeah, Jasmine's probably going to be like two or three resets. It'll be like kind of annoying, but like, it won't be that bad. Yeah. Grinding in solo runs always feels painful, especially in Johto. Yeah, <laughs> so true. There is also the risk that it'll confuse Yan Mega, yeah. I feel like the chance for it to confuse, though, is significantly lower than the chance to uh, try and paralyze. Is this the biggest Jasmine stall ever? Uh, it's not bigger than when I used Yanma, but it is quite big. I think I had to be level 60 with Yanma to beat her without hidden power. There's still trainers on the way down to Lapras. Okay. I have done the rocket hideout, yes. Is it as painful as Pine Pineco wasn't that painful. Pineco is like, like Pineco, when you look at Pineco, you're just like, okay, it's going to be bad, right? Like the Pokemon I find truly painful are Pokemon that are like good, like Miss Magius 
And then when you like play the game, you're like, oh, actually this thing is awful. Like it's just not built for a solo run. Um, those are the Pokemon that end up being like really painful to use. We do have access to Swagger. I think everything gets Swagger. Fly on Yan Mega Dragon type damage, that would be fun. Yeah, some, some dragon type damage would be great right now. It would be special. Would you ever do a doubles challenge? I'm not sure what a doubles challenge is, but like, I'm open to it. How many more trainers are there in here? There's going to be like three. It's probably not worth the time walking over here. That's the problem with Johto. Like, this walk time, like, yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not fighting wild Pokemon the entire time that I'm walking. Oh. Oh, it's level 8. Wonderful. So if I'm not... If I'm, uh... Wait, what? Did I fight this guy already? <laughs> Is he gonna fight me again? No. Went the wrong way. See, I never come over here. What's over here? I don't know where I am. I'm lost. Uh... There's people here, I think, that I haven't fought. This guy. Oh, no. <laughs> We're getting to that point where it's like, We're getting to that point where it's uh, not very much experience that's worth getting anymore. Like, there's some people in National Forest, but, like, they're not very good. Like, it's going to be just faster to train at the Lake of Rage. Like, all these people are just going to be slower. By the way, everyone who's like, ban return and hidden power. No. <laughs> no, Johto is already painful enough. <laughs> like... It's basically just like, oh, like, just be 10 levels higher for every fight. Like, that's basically banning those moves. It doesn't fix the fundamental problems in Johto. Johto is like, you know, there's like that saying, it's like, it's like rotten to its core. Like, the Johto games feel rotten to their core in terms of like a balanced gameplay experience. But they, uh, they're really fun. I love these games. The aesthetics are amazing. And, uh, especially the music and the whole vibe of the region is just incredible. Using Hidden Power Dark would feel so good right now. <laughs> I'm going to go to 48 and then I'm trying again. That's why you should play Crystal Legacy. I know, I know. I've said, I said I'm going to play Crystal Legacy, but I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not going to be in a rush to do it. So maybe next year, maybe next year. There's a lot of other ROM hacks that I want to play too. Red Kaizo, or no, Blue Kaizo, Radical Red. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Plus, I have ideas for ROM, ROM hacks. I also want to spend some time making ROM hacks. Yes, Psycho3418, that is so true. When you finally beat Jasmine, it'll be such a stomp. You'll wonder why she was such a bother in the first place. I know. So many times that happens. There's a fight, it feels impossible. And then you like go back to fight it and like all the RNG just lines up. And you're like, huh, that was actually really easy. Why did I level up? <laughs> like, <laughs> then you just feel like you wasted time leveling up. Doesn't the C give you more experience with Tentacool and Tentacruel? Ah, it might actually. That's normally where I train. But I, I normally train there um, while doing the trainers. This is the first and only run, yes. 
Okay. I didn't fight this guy. I'm not going to spoil the rum hex I want to make. Yeah, when I make them, they'll come out and everyone will know. It'll be fun. I was... My goal was actually to have a rum hex done by the new year. Uh, and on New Year's Eve, announce it. But it's there's no way. It, it might not even be done next year. Huh. <laughs> Poison. Just to spite me. <laughs> Super. Having to put flash on your moveset is definitely a sign that things aren't going too well. Yeah, things are not going too well. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Jasmine again. Will I get by? Probably not. This is going to be bad. Let's see. Okay, please Omni Boost. I want two Omni Boosts. Omni Boost. No Omni Boost. Okay, that, and it burnt my berry. No, oh, that's not bug. Okay, at least it missed. Oh, the flash caused the miss there and then it, it didn't get me again. Okay, that did a lot of damage and it missed. Okay, good. We're in really good shape to the Steelix. Okay. Okay, everyone, please, please, please. Please let this be it. Okay, two. Only two. Three. Come on. Come on. Four. Five. Five enough. Six. Six is good. Okay, now let's go. Let's go. She has a hyper potion. Oh, the screech. Oh, the rock throw. Oh, seven hit points. Okay. So, oh. Okay, so it wasn't just ama amazingly easy the first time. So, ah. <sighs> So it's okay that I did the training. All right. Okay, please, please have an Omni boost. Please, <laughs> just one. Also nice health. Can I do hit this thing now with ancient power sometimes? Nope, okay. I need level 50 to do that, I bet. Yeah, Um. I don't think six flashes is a good idea. I don't know, It's it's hard. I do get diminishing returns on the later ones, yeah. There we go, Omni Boost. Okay, but we're paralyzed. So it's like a little bit of good, but a little bit of bad. Come on, come on! No. I'm dead. I'm <laughs> dead. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Miss. Miss on the Thunder Wave, so no paralysis this fight. As long as I don't mess myself up. Choose the wrong move. Okay, I didn't. Okay, Flash. Come through for me. Come through for me, Flash. Okay. Hits first turn. Flash hits second turn. Two Rock Throws have hit. Three Flashes. I'm gonna go four Flashes, then I'm gonna attack. Ah, and then it hits. Ah, oh, again. Stop. Please, stop. Please. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Critical hit before the Hyper Potion knocks Steelix out. We are done with Jasmine at an hour and 20 minutes almost. Wow. Okay. Um, Remember when I said Miss Magius was bad? I think Yan Mega actually might be worse. I can't believe that, but okay. Uh, I want to teach Return over Thief. Thief is kind of trash. Okay, good. So I'll get rid of Flash as soon as I make it to Blackthorn City, but I think I can get through this whole section of the game with just Return, Bug Bite, and Ancient Power. Tyler, not too much of Miss Magus, Scott. I know. I know you really like Miss Magus. I like its design. I think it's a cool Pokemon. It's not very good for solo running, though. I don't know if they made it better in future games and gave it something other than Psywave to start with. Like, Psywave just seems so un... Ah. Uh, <laughs> Psywave just seems like such an unfair move to start with. Uh, okay, fine. Magnemite is really annoying when you don't have Mud Slap. Oh, at least I can one hit with Return. By the way, that is a guarantee. Yes, they did make it better. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. Air Slash is in four levels. Let's hope I get... I might... Okay, I'm going to do first part of Tower. Then I'm going to go to Blackthorn City, Delete Flash. Then I'm going to come back. 
Yes, you can do that. Sometimes, I forget to do the final part of the rocket plotline. That's how I know. Soul, we need you in chat. Okay, um... doesn't seem like these are um, correct allegations, so uh, we're going to have incorrect allegations being thrown around. Um, we're just going to remove people. That's not cool. I'm totally fine if you call me out, criticize me, criticize my channel, criticize my content, criticize my programming, criticize how I spam return all day in Pokemon Crystal. But um, I would prefer if everyone... Uh, was here just like allowed other people to also have a fun enjoyable viewing experience so yeah let's not remove anyone yet but if he does it again bye bye okay so let's continue um, we're gonna go over here now see I can get to this route now that I have cleared uh, Jasmine. You have to get the call telling you that there's like a disturbance at the radio tower to be able to come over here. Uh, and that's really unfortunate. You can't get good items like the Nevermelt Ice, Rest, um, a PP up, actually two PP ups, all the trainers, the move deleter, all this stuff is walled off until you defeat Jasmine. And you have to defeat Jasmine, Chuck, and Price. So you can't just like just defeat Jasmine and then like go really quick over here with like some different type of Pokemon before you face Chuck or Price. That does not work. Can't get any ice moves today, so never melt ice is useless, but return could be useful, so let's pick it up. By the way, max potion right there. A new item I learned about. Might as well pick it up. You have to bump into that rock anyways. You're not going to waste like any extra time like wandering around doing other stuff. Just bump into the rock, pick up the max potion. Could be useful for Cantor the League. Okay, move to leader. Let's get rid of Flash so we can get Air Slash. It rhymes. Nice. Bye-bye, Flash. Hated having to use you. <laughs> Why do you have 70% 70 70 accuracy? Just terrible. Okay, now let's face the rival. By the way, this is why I always knock out the Slowpoke guy, because you have to come in from the north entrance. You cannot get into the south entrance uh, at this point in the game. I guess you just have three moves for a little bit. Which is kind of weird. Let's go. I guess I... No, I, Ancient Power was a mistake there. Hey, one hit the Magnemite with return. Feels good. Definitely ancient power that. Okay. Yeah, Giga Drain for blues right on. Totally. Also, Giga Drain may be useful against the uh, the um, Blastoise on Red's team. It's going to use Blizzard against me, I'm pretty sure. And uh, having some recovery there, depending on when he sends it out, it, it'll be helpful. I think he's going to go Pikachu, then Blastoise second. And then after that, probably Espeon. Okay, I gotta get some water once again. Okay, Scott's thoughts. I have a question. When you were starting making these runs, how much time did you spend memorizing things like cave layouts, item locations, etc.? Well, if you go back and watch my old videos, almost no time. I basically just fired the game up and played it because I didn't think anyone was going to watch. So I was not intending for this to be like a product that another human would consume. I just said to myself, I'm going to post a video once a week for the entire year so that I learn video editing. I made a little deal with myself. 
And part of those videos that I released was some Pokemon videos because I wanted to play Pokemon. I was like, I'll just make some videos and play the game. It'll be fun. So I spent no time memorizing anything. Um, and then after people started watching, I was like, oh, I should actually like start taking this a little bit more seriously and like focus on having some optimal plays and like knowing where items are and stuff like that. So you can you can tell like the first like six to eight months of releases are quite bad. And then things start getting a little bit better after that. But then um, things dramatically improve. Uh, I would say it's like April 2021, which is when I started taking things on the channel much more seriously because I wanted to procrastinate on my master's thesis. We have Air Slash now, by the way. That's nice. What's Air Slash is a high crit rate, right? That's stab. It's pretty good. I'm going to pick up Sleep Talk because I've been having a bad time so far. <laughs> this is the, uh, the last resort move. Um, I think maybe iron? It's like all the vitamins are not very good. I'm decently fast, so it feels kind of weird to uh, have to buy iron, but okay. Oh, gosh. Hard getting out of buildings, apparently. And then I just kill this overworld rooting right here. Feels good. Till there. Oh, we're going to do that. We're going to switch to the uh, sharp beak. Uh, you'll notice that I don't switch items. And you'll be like, why isn't he just using the sharp beak? More damage is better. Ah, uh, It's like, I literally think that I'm going to one-hit with any move I use. I don't care, so I'm, I literally just don't want to spend the time opening the inventory and switching my item. That is how Johto makes me think. Because it's just like, if you're going to one-hit anyways, why would you waste the time opening the inventory and switching the item? It just bleeds time for no reason, then your overall playthrough result is going to be worse. So like, really in Johto, you only want to switch the items when it's absolutely necessary for a key damage range. Other than that, just keep the item whatever you have. Like, never melt ice through all of Kanto? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Backporting moves is very easy as long as the effect is from the previous game. Like, if the effect exists in the previous game, then it's easy to backport, but if the effect does not exist, then I don't know how to do it. Ah, I don't. <laughs> Those NPCs that just get in your way. One, two, three. Okay. I see that there was a super chat from Fallen Hero. I don't know when I missed that. I missed that at some point, so I'm sorry. Thank you again. I love your runs. I'm so jazzed to be here. It's great to have you here. It's great to have a bunch of people together playing Pokemon. Hopefully some of you are playing Pokemon too. Shiny hunting or something while I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, I looked over. Concurrent viewers right now. It says to me, 469. So nice, thank you so much. When there are 469s, you know you've done something right. Shiny hunting. Mastiff, nice. Contemplating Pokemon without playing, yeah. Yeah. Not <laughs> Don, yes. Nothing beats throwing on your video before I'm about to chow down on a meal. I feel the same way about a bunch of creators that like make long form content that I watch. Just like like if um for instance Tasteless and Artosis release like a StarCraft cast. Like, right before I'm about to eat a meal. I'm like, yes, I'm so happy now. This meal is going to be, like, ten times better than it was before. Okay. Uh, Jasmine. This should be fine. Like, should be fine. I, I think we're high enough leveled now that we just one-hit all of our Pokemon. Like, Night Slash should just one-hit all the Dragonairs. It looks like it is. Sorry, Air Slash. Bug Slash, actually. Um, And then we should just two-hit the Kingdra. This is usually what happens. Unless smoke screen. Oh, we got a flinch. Okay. Oh, is it flinch? Is night slash is air slash flinch? I bet it's flinch. I knew one of these moves. I programmed it as flinch, so that's what it is today. Maybe I got it wrong. 
probably flinch. You do look these things up. It's flinch, no crit rate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Flinch. 30% flinch. Okay, I programmed it right. Good. My memory does not work as well um, as I would like it to. I really wish I could remember things, but I just can't. It, like, goes in and then it comes out. Except for, like, random things. Like, what's the uh, red's SP on speed? It's 184. Um, important things like that, you know. But other things, you just don't know. Or, like, weird, archaic stuff about, like, the internal RAM of Pokemon Yellow. I remember all that. Like, you can just show me the RAM and I can, like, tell you what it is. But... I cannot remember for the life of me the base power of, like, I don't know. <laughs> Some move. I still have my chop. Ah! You're right. See, couldn't remember to deposit the machop. <laughs> uh, that's fun. That's why I don't like getting machop. It's like if you're gonna avoid that, just don't do it. You don't you don't waste time in the trade, and then you also don't waste time uh, depositing it later. This is why a lot of the time there's like you'll run into a problem. Um, you run into the problem where like you do one thing out of the order, and then it spirals into like everything falling apart. Like there, I had to use an extra escape rope, so now I do not have an escape rope for the Seafoam Islands. And if I don't have an escape rope for the Seafoam Islands, then I might get caught. Ah. Huh found a Dratini. That's hilarious. Um, then I might get caught in the dark and not be able to get out because I run out of escape ropes. Like, I'm going to run out right now. But this time I'm going to remember we're not going to have an event like that, like last time on stream, where I uh, didn't have any escape ropes and had to figure out how to get out of the cave blind. That was fun. I did it, though. I actually had to do that earlier today in my Cleffa run. I ran out of uh, escape ropes again, but I, I was able to get out really quickly because I me remembered it from the stream. See, there is something I remembered. Like, I remember how to, like, path through the caves after doing it, like, twice. But, like, you're like, what's the secondary effect of Night Slash? I'm like, I will not be able to tell you tomorrow. Did it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, forgot. Oh, did I say night chat, night slash? I probably said night night slash. the The reason I'm saying night slash is because I did so many backports with dark types this month that I programmed a lot of Night Slash and not very much Air Slash. So Night Slash is really on my mind. By the way, that's a super potion. I don't need it. <laughs> John Willis. Scott has bad memory. Also, Scott navigates Dark Cave from memory. Yep. While I have Flash. Remember, men don't need Flash. <laughs> Man, real men don't ask for directions when they're at the grocery store. <laughs> Just wander around until you finally find the item you need after two hours. I just, I remember that because my dad would do that. Like, he, <laughs> that kind of my, my mom would always just be like, why does he do it? He just like walks around, and gets really frustrated. And then like, he just keeps looking and eventually he finds it. But he's like so angry and there's like, people everywhere that could just help him if he just asked for help. <laughs> so funny. Let's avoid that. We gotta go fast from here on out if we want to get like under two hours. It would be nice to get under two hours. Okay. We're running low on repels. Remember when I said I couldn't buy that many and I bought 21? Yeah. Uh, there is a Magnemite here. Or Magneton now. It's probably going to be brutal. It, it, he's going to send it out second. For sure. I don't see any world where he doesn't send it out second. 
Oh, Golbat. Oh, I guess it has wing attack, that's why. I just didn't think of that, yeah. A hey, flinch. A hey, flinch. Oh, no, I didn't get three. Uh, that's fine. Two is good enough. It didn't, uh... It didn't try and, uh, use... Excuse me, it didn't try and use Thunder Wave on me. I was just worried about Thunder Wave. Getting paralyzed early on in the fight is really awful. That's also why I said it comes out second, because I was thinking the worst case scenario. It comes out second, it survives, Thunder Waves you, then you're paralyzed for the rest of the Pokemon. So it gets real bad. Uh, let's save here before going in. I'm gonna... Just a second. I learned something also from Snowy, so thank you, Snowy, for letting me know this. I think it was Snowy, at least. If it's not Snowy, I'm really sorry. I forgot whoever it was. Snowy was in the chat when you were there talking about this. But Arthur over here has the hard stone. I'm going to grab it just for Lance, just in case. Then you can use teleport to go back to Kanto, which is really nice. Then I can save here. Now let's do it. Okay, Will, here we go. Um, overall, bug moves are pretty good here. Ancient Power is pretty good here. Air Slash is pretty good here. We just got, like, a lot of options. We should be fine. Granted, knocking his Pokemon out in a single hit with Ancient Power is not particularly good because then you can't get the Omni Boost. However, that statue did not go down to uh, to one hit, so I could have got the Omni Boost there, and now I'm confused. But Air Slash gets the one hit. Okay, so. Air Slash is better than Ancient Power, apparently. Oh, I missed on the Executor. Oh, it has 95% accuracy. I didn't realize that Air Slash has 95% accuracy. Interesting. I should have bug bite the slow rope. It still would have lived, though. It's pretty tanky. Okay, so that's Will. Will's pretty easy. Let's move on to Koga. I'm not going to save for this fight. I anticipate this is going to be extremely easy. So here we go. We should just one hit with Air Slash for like most of the Pokemon. Not the Crobat, of course. Ooh, it does poison me with uh, Toxic. It's a bit annoying, but... Bug Buzz. Hey, we got Bug Buzz. Way better than Bug Bite. Let's upgrade. Okay, one hit the Venomoth. It is a Rock type, but like we did okay. Uh, Fortress protect so that it stacks up my toxic counter which is quite frustrating it's going to do that again by the way his ai is programmed to do that it knows when you are toxic and then it's just like i'm just going to spam this so that you hopefully faint from poison damage which i might actually oh the miss okay i should have saved <laughs> remember when i was like don't save yeah that was a mistake so save okay No. Well, return, return will be fine on the Jinx. Uh, this was supposed to be an Air Slash. Yeah. Yeah, Venomoth's my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. It does seem like he always does that in yellow, but there is no AI modification that forces him to do that in yellow version. He's just getting lucky. It might be the um it might be a type effectiveness thing though. He might think that poison is super effective. And if he doesn't think any of his other moves are super effective, then he's gonna spam poison, and then once you're poisoned, he's not gonna use poison anymore. But he'll still downvote the other two moves. So then he won't use um the other two moves, and he'll just be like, oh, the only option I have is double double team, then he'll go for it. No poison this time, so we're fine. Okay, one hit the Venomoth. It's a steel type, but we're good. Fortress, two hit, no protect, easy. Mock's probably gonna be a two hit with Night Slash. Minimize, kind of annoying, toxic, but doesn't matter. Okay, we are moving on to Karen. Let's do this. Oh no, not Karen. We're moving on to Bruno. Bruno's next, sorry. Unintentionally forgot Bruno. The irony. I think I really wish I had a special move here, but like I could have had solar beam, but like I don't actually want solar beam, so I think we're fine. 
like the only thing I'm worried about is the Onyx. Like, and I have bug buzz for that, so we should be fine. Pretty sure Air Slash will just one hit all the fighting types. Maybe not the Machamp. The Machamp's pretty bulky. Bug Buzz does a good amount to the Onyx. Rock Slide doesn't do much because Onyx has trash attack. Okay, one hit the Machamp. Simple, simple, simple Bruno fight. And with that, we are now moving on to Karen. Okay. I don't... I'm going to two hit the Umbreon and it's probably going to sand attack me and then we're going to have to luck through the rest of the fight. One hit the Umbreon. Okay, that's really good. And then Air Slash the Houndoom, but miss. Maybe should Ancient power that. It's less power, but overall... I'm going to be more consistent. Air Slash the Gengar. Ancient power the Murkrow for accuracy. And then Air Slash the Vileplume. Okay, easy. Really easy, Karen. I didn't realize I would uh, Oko the Umbreon, uh, Umbreon there. I thought it would be like very close. I thought it was going to be like a like a tiny sliver left over at the end. I'd be like, ah, oh, it's really frustrating. I need like level 60 to one-shot it. But apparently we're fine. Uh, let's Hearthstone here, actually. It just has like far more utility. Okay. Here we go. Lance time. Uh, we'll Ancient Power the Gyarados in case we Omni Boost right away. Which we do not. Well, Air Slash to finish it off because you can't Omni Boost on the second turn when you knock out. Dragonite going to Ancient Power for Omni Boosts. Paralyzed. Bad. Thunder does a lot. Oh. Oh. I think we're dead. I think we need rest. We need rest or Paralyzed Curberry. I burnt my Paralyzed Curberry with Jasmine Fight. We need rest. Rest and the plays a return. And yeah, we have PP ups, so we should do that now. I think I have PP up. Yeah, two. Okay, here we go. What are your plans for Halloween? We'd love to see Meow Scara. Yeah, I'm not gonna do um I'm not gonna do that for Halloween. We're going back to yellow version for a bunch of Halloween videos. It's gonna be fun. Darn. What? Could you not crit me, please? Miss. <laughs> oh. Going to use a chesto berry? There are no chesto berries in generation two. It would be a mint berry here. But uh, I don't think so. I think I want the hard stone. Let's see. I think it just rest. As soon as it starts at doing that, it has like, yeah. Like it's gonna miss now because it doesn't have the rain anymore. Thunder bypasses accuracy. Uh, are you kidding me? How am I playing this wrong? Uh, Ancient Power here. If I Omni Boost, that'd be amazing, but nope. Okay. Now it's got the rain. I guess I could flinch with Air Slash first turn. Hey, misses on Thunder Wave. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to go for the flinch on Air Slash rather than the 10% Omni Boost. <laughs> Two misses on Thunder Wave. That's why I'm going to win. So silly. Doesn't feel like I earned it, but... <laughs> and then a miss on Rock Slide from the Aerodactyl. Okay, this is the luckiest fight ever. I can't believe this. If I get a flinch here, that'd be hilarious. No, safeguard. Oh, okay. It actually attacked with Outrage, but it doesn't matter. Easy. Ta-da! Yan Mega beats Lance. Ah, oh, just under two hours. <laughs> Quite bad. Yeah, this is going to be two... It'll be over two hours now, I think. I don't think I can get through all of Kanto in this amount of time. It would be, like, top pace if we get through Kanto and get a 
sub hour, uh, sub two hour red split, but let's try. Obviously, I'm not going to stop trying. We're going to like do our best to get as good times as we can. Probably not going to read much of chat, but I'll I'll keep uh, keep trying to say stuff over here. Oops, careful. I don't know why this area here, like the little like dock area, it's so aesthetic. I, I love it. Every time I come down here, I get like good feelings and I'm like, oh, I like this place. I don't know why. It's like, you know that feeling when you're like, it's really cold outside? You might not if you don't live in Canada, but there's this feeling when it's like really, really cold outside and like you can tell like inside the house, even though it's heated, you can tell that like the outside is really cold. There's like this like heat, this cold that like penetrates everything. And, uh... In those times when you like get into bed and like wrap yourself up in like a nice blanket or something, it's like, oh, so nice. That's how this dock area makes me feel in, in Pokemon Crystal. I don't know why. It's just like, oh, it's so nice. That's like, yeah, great. Okay. So none of the gym leaders here are going to be an issue. Uh, they're all really bad. Uh, like, I don't think, I don't like, yeah, there's like no one that's going to be Yan Mega. I'm going to get cursed because I have a bad feeling about this. No. Oh. This guy. You got to talk to him at the night, in night, by the way. My software just changes it to be nighttime as soon as I enter this building, so. Always night when I'm in here. And then it changes it back to day, so it looks the same. I don't like it, what it looks like at night in Crystal, so that's why I never record my videos at night. I do realize there's a slight benefit to recording them at night, because you can fight, fight the... Uh, policemen with their Growlithe for extra experience but I hate how much I hate that it looked like it looks really bad <laughs> uh, so much so that I just I'm not going to do it like the visual look the visual look is so important it needs to look good okay Erica this should be fine Scott, there's no held item that can help Yanma's bug moves in Gen 2? No. Like it exists, it's just hard to get. I think you have to trade like a bug or something from Generation 1 to get it. It's really weird. Like one of those things that's like really inconvenient to get. Like I'll just put the sharp beak on. Overall going to be the most helpful item throughout this next section of the game. Bug Buzz, 2 hit KO, 3 hit KO, the Snorlax, you think so? That's optimistic, okay. I don't know if I'm going to 2 hit or 3 hit, but maybe, we'll see. Don't you hate it when it's snowing in October? It's always snowing in October where I live. If we don't get snow in October, it's like a miracle, and then everyone's just like, wow, the environment's falling apart, nothing works anymore. <laughs> because it's, it's supposed to snow here. I'm going to save before this fight. I uh, had a reset here earlier today. Got to be careful sometimes. Bye-bye. Air, air, air Slash and Bug Buzz are both physical. This is Generation 2. Damage category is determined by type, not by the move. Okay. Let's go. I know it's really weird. Stop missing. Please. Okay. Okay. I'm not playing great here in Kanto. I'm looking at chat too much. No. I'm gonna need to buy more repels sometime soon. I have to remember that. By the way, I just found this series on YouTube. It's like the guy, he does like, it's called Overanalyzing Attack on Titan. Um, My new favorite series right now. Each episode is longer than each episode of Attack on Titan and it usually describes one episode, which makes me really happy. Whenever I find long form content, I'm just like, that's the best. It's the best. Especially on topics that I really, really, really like.
You can't do Misty before the power plant? Yeah, you cannot do Misty before the power plant. That is correct. Yeah, you have to beat all of this. I, I got asked that on my last stream. Someone was like, why are you going up here? Like, just fighting all these random trainers. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You, you have to do this to face Misty. You, you cannot um, face her until you interrupt her date. It's the only way. Uh, playing kind of slow. I'm tired. Someone asked a long time ago. He, hopefully they're still here, but someone asked a long time ago. Why did I do that? That's definitely not the right move. Um, that's also not the right move, but it's okay. We we still won. Um, someone asked a while ago in the chat. They're like, are you ever going to do Generation 4? Um, I just posted for... Uh, patrons and YouTube members some screenshots from the progress that I've made on Generation 4, so I do intend to play Generation 4. No. Oh. We're good. Okay. So, talk to Misty. Teleport. Takes me back to this Pokemon Center. And I can quickly get back over to the power plant to deliver the part. Slowest Gen 4 on 4 times speed. Don't talk to me about that. <laughs> I haven't actually done any, like, play yet. I've just been working on the programming side of things, but uh, the play is probably going to be very slow. Do you plan on playing generations that haven't been released yet? Um, like I'm in no rush. Like I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna play a game on release on the channel. I don't think I'll ever do that. That uh, doesn't seem interesting to me. Um, I'm just gonna go at my own pace and like whenever whenever we get there, we're gonna get there. And uh I'm not really looking to like follow any trends or anything like that. I thought about it for a while, like, oh maybe I should just jump on these trends, and then I realized that I don't really want people showing up to the channel just because a new game came out. I would rather have people show up to the channel because they like this kind of content and it doesn't matter what time of year it is or what year it is. It's just like, yeah, I just want to see some Gen 1, let's do it. Or I want to see some Gen 4, let's do it. Like, that's my thought process on it right now. Why do I still see rest in that moveset? Because we need it for red. If you think you don't need rest for red, then you, uh, you've not played a lot of Gen 2. Gonna get punished. <laughs> He's really good. No, you don't. Okay, sure. We'll see. You don't need rest. You just need crits, right? I got it. Figured it out. Sorry. Just, if you just crit every Pokemon, then it works out. I figured it out. Okay, so uh, Surge. Surge is really bad. Uh, hopefully everyone knows that Surge is really bad. Um, yeah. Easy sweep. No problems there. Almost did a Gen 1 thing there and uh, cut the tree with uh, opening the inventory. Definitely did not get the radio card. Gotta be careful here not to run into that biker. Really easy to run into him by accident. One more repel. <laughs> Cutting it close. Uh, is there a mart here? No, there isn't. What is that building? I don't know what's in that building. What is that building? I don't know what's in there. I don't remember that as a kid. Oh my gosh. Run away. I don't want to fight the bear. We Let's go. I'm going to fight Brock. Do we teach Giga Drain for this fight? Probably not. Yeah, we'll be fine. 
No. Turn that on that. For how aesthetically pleasing Johto is, Kanto in Gen 2 always feels a bit lacking. Yeah, I agree. The The Johto portion of the game like feels like it has the perfect aesthetic, and then when you come back to Kanto, it's like the aesthetic definitely like it goes down a little bit. What tune is this? The Pokeathlon ceremony. All right, I might get it be, be being convinced now that rest is going to be fine. Only because we have a bunch of rare candies. So I'm going to be quite a high level for red. Ah. Ah. Didn't buy more repels because there's nowhere to buy them. Might run into, we're going to run into some Pokemon before Janine, but it's like... We're missing one repel at this point. It should be fine. Okay, Blaine. Um, is Blaine going to be a problem? Probably not. We have ancient power. Is Blaine very good? Not really. He starts with a Meg Cargo. It's got to be one of the worst Pokemon. They give it such a trash type, but such cute eyes. I love the little thing. I wish it wasn't bad. And there we go. One-shotting, I think, all of Blaine's team. Unless the Rapidash survives. It does not. Simple. Then you do this. Okay, we're going to run into Pokemon here. That's fine. I accepted my fate. That was before Jasmine. I would have fought that. Okay, only three encounters. Kind of bad for how much space there is, but overall not not the worst thing. It's like nine seconds. Janina is trash. Don't save here. She's like got to be one of the worst gym leaders. Well, I think she is. Like objectively, she is. Okay. It'll be funny if it's worse than Slugma's time. It might be worse than Slugma's time. We got... But, like, you have to remember, though, the final Slugman time is with Hidden Power, whereas this is without Hidden Power. And this thing is going to be so much better when it has Hidden Power. Like, Hidden Power really changes everything for this run. That's why I, like, considered banning it, is because, like, this run is interesting and challenging, and, like, there's some... you got to figure out, like, levels and damage ranges and stuff for certain Pokemon. Have I fought Misty? Probably not. I don't think I've fought Misty. Well, we'll just fight this guy first, and then we'll see. Okay, it's time to face blue. Let's see how this goes. Uh, up first is Pidgeot. I don't think this thing is going to do too much to me. Oh, wing attack. That's more than it normally does, but still not that much. Bug buzz the ride on. Ooh, rock slide. Okay, that's bad. Um, That would be nice if that was a two hit. So we'll fight Misty first. We will level up once, then we'll use rare candies for blue. I just don't want to. I don't want to fight uh, blue now because I, I don't want to use the rare candies now. Please look at my level. It's like I'm about to level up to 66. Are you drink. Oh, I fought her already. When did I fight Misty? I don't remember that. Oh, well, gotta fight some. Gotta fight someone. Gotta level up. Fight this person? Yeah, this person. Just dropped in. An ouch. Yeah. Lack of special moves is, is awful. Yeah, I got Giga Drain. And did we fight Brock a little while ago? Uh, okay, Giga Drain. But what do we put it in the place of? See, this is a hard choice. If I put it in the place of rest, I may screw up my entire playthrough. And all of these other moves I cannot get back. I think I have to put it in the place of Ancient Power. Nah. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. See, I don't like teaching stuff like this. This seems so risky to me. It sends off all my warning bells of like, don't do it. Like, you're not supposed to do this. This is what I'm supposed to do. 
this feels significantly less risky. Should have saved after that. I just forgot. Okay, let's try again. I'm eight higher levels or nine higher levels now, so <laughs> it mirror moves my ancient power. I guess that's maybe reason to bug buzz first turn or something on that thing. I will two hit now with bug buzz against the right on. So yeah, and I figured it was going to use sandstorm first turn. So just going to do chip, chip damage. It does more than I do every turn, uh, more than I heal with with uh, leftovers. But should be able to oh the burn there. That's unfortunate. I can heal the burn, I just don't want to heal it against the Arcanine. I might, I might, 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 might make it. No, I'm not going to make it. He's going to get me. Yep. Fight's over, GG. No, 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 no. Do never leave. Learn the Marine King Prime lesson. Sometimes you win the most ridiculous fights that you should never leave early. Never leave early. All of my experience with gaming has taught me that. Only if it's an optimized playthrough and you're trying to get the best possible time, then plan specifically when you will reset. Like, if I get hit by Abra's Flash from Sabrina, I just reset and then I start the fight over again. Because then, then it's not worth it. But in, in an attempt like this, like, I'm just going to keep going. Because sometimes you get, like, ridiculous luck. You get, like, a crit or, like, Gen 1 miss if it's Gen 1. This is annoying. Can I have an Omni boost here? Like, okay, well, I got it. What's next? Gyarados. Uh, it's probably gonna Hydro Pump KO me, isn't it? Twi Twister? Twister? <laughs> What are you doing, Gyarados? Also, 607 effective power on that. That's really good bug buzz. Okay, we beat blue. Yeah, but I think you under, like, I'm not sure if you had all the math in your head for the amount of health that Leftovers was recovering every turn and the amount that Flamethrower was doing every turn. So if you do have that math in your head, like, that's great, perfect, then you did know that you could not win, but I did not have that math in my head. I looked at it, saw how much Flamethrower was doing, I'm like, ah, I might survive. Yeah, I'm out of, uh... <laughs> ah. You never know when the AI just, like, does weird things, too. Where are the repels in this region? I never buy repels here, by the way. I don't want, I guess the department store, like. I'm gonna pick up Protect. Protect is a good TM. Probably the best TM against Red, other than Rest and Curse and Sleep Talk. <laughs> All the good TMs against Red. You don't have that moveset, what are you doing? You're not playing Gen 2. Yeah, like, basically what happened there with the Gyarados is it, it missed its, uh... It did a test roll with Hydro Pump and it missed, so then I was like, oh, I should do something else, and then I went for Twister, because it's like, I want to do damage to KO. Because it saw that I that there was a KO range. Probably with Hydro Pump. But then it's like, why would I set up Rain Dance? Because Rain Dance is going to boost Twister's power anyways. Okay. go. Men don't need flash. Even though you have it, why would you use it? Look at, look at my superpowers. Wow. So hard. Look at what I accomplished. Okay, I'm about to level up. Let's fight, like... Actually, let's not do that. Let's just save and then we're just going to fight him and see how it goes and then after um after that we will re we'll like investigate what I should do next. So, here we go. 
We're going to do this fight. We're going to see what goes. And if it goes badly, then we can reevaluate. Okay. Um, what do I use against this thing? I think bug buzz. Just knock it on one hit. Okay, that is a one hit. That's good to know. Alright, so it's next. Obviously, ancient power. I'm faster than his entire team because the Espeon is the fastest Pokemon. Uh, Blastoise next. Bug Buzz does more. I can't gain health, so Bug Buzz first turn and second turn. Gonna Blizzard. Please no freeze. Okay, no freeze. Giga Drain gain back a little bit of health. Relax. Now will a three hit? Oh yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing a lot. All right, Ike was right. We don't need to rest. We're good. Yeah, we're going to win now. Air Slash, the Venusaur. If it two hits, it's fine because it's going to go for Solar Beam. And then I can just Bug Buzz the Espeon and I win. All right, yeah, pretty good. So it was really good actually at the end of the game. Like, excellent, excellent against Red. Not very, um, not very strong, unfortunately, during the Johto portion of the game. Just doesn't really get anything for Jasmine. Doesn't really get anything for Morty. It had an unfortunate reset against Price, but in the grand scheme of things, that didn't really matter. The The main thing that held this run back was just lack of hidden power ice. That would have dramatically helped against Jasmine. Would have helped against Lance a little bit. Okay, so... That is going to be, that is the fifth backport stream that we have now done on the channel. I started with, uh, which one did I start with? I started with uh, Darkrai, was it? I did Darkrai, Haunchcrow, Miss Magius. I started with something else. I forgot the first one I did. What did I do first? Gliscore, that's the other one I did, yeah. Darkrai, Gliscore, Honchcrow, and Miss Magius. Now we did Yan Mega. This is one bug type. And then we're going to go back and do one more dark type if, I, if my voice has it in me. So hopefully we will do Weavile tomorrow. And then we are going to get back to some Pokemon Yellow. All the way until Halloween. So... I hope you all have had a lot of fun on this stream. I guess I should read out Yan Mega's final results. It finishes the game with 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 39 seconds with 22 resets at level 76. This is a game time of 7 hours and 10 minutes. Let's see how that kind of stacks up against the competition. Obviously not well. I uh, do remember that these results that I'm putting it up against are second playthrough results with hidden power of the Pokemon's choosing, so it's not exactly comparable. But right now, with the, the first playthrough results are... Uh, this is F tier. Slightly slower than Smeargle. Slightly faster than Slugma. So, yeah. Absolutely awful, actually. Um, yeah. Really not good. Uh, I think... Like, like, this Pokemon is just... It's, like, designed... There's obviously so much time that can be saved. Like, we're going to save 40 minutes in the next... If I did another playthrough. Like, easily, easily 40, 40 minutes. But that still is not going to make it rank particularly well. Maybe not 40 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes, now that I'm thinking about it. I think this thing is going to be somewhere around, like, the 140 to 130 time. Just because, like... The, the move set that they would have given it in Gen 2 would have just been so lacking in special moves. And as a special attacker, it's it's like, oh, great, you have a Giga Drain, like a really good Giga Drain. But like, that, like that's not really helpful. Um, if this thing started, let's say, with Confusion uh, and then got uh, like a Hidden Power Ice in the mid game and then got Psychic in the late game, and maybe there was a better move than Solar Beam that it could learn that's grass, or like a Thunderbolt or something, then it would be much better. But unfortunately, this thing's got to wait till Generation 4 when we get the physical special split to be particularly good. 
Okay. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're enjoying Halloween week. We are officially under a week until Halloween now. Hope you're excited. I'm going to have a new piece of content, either a stream or a video, every day from now until Halloween. As long as my voice is up for the streams. So, hopefully tomorrow. We vile in Pokemon Crystal. And then after that, back to Pokemon Yellow. If you made it this far, you're incredible. I'll see you in my next stream.